Hi everyone, I make PowerPoint and Excel templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of their business and their organization. This one in particular is a compounding chart. But what is compounding? Well, it's been described as the eighth wonder of the world where we have an initial amount that we invest, maybe in stocks or in real estate. We get the return on that money, but we reinvest that money. And so eventually this reinvestment amount starts small, but we're constantly reinvesting, reinvesting, and it, it's like a snowball rolling down a hill. So it eventually ends up as a large amount with the returns becoming larger and larger and larger based on the percentage of the amount that you have. So let's see an example of this. Let's say we managed to save $6,000 this year. That's say $500 a month. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, some people might be able to do that. You might be able to do more, for example. And let's say we got 15% a year putting that into the stock market. And again, it could be more or it could be less, but we can change this on our compounding chart. And that's the beauty of it. And let's say we invest it for 10 years. And let's say we're adding another $500 a month. Uh, so $6,000 a year, roughly every year. Well, over 10 years, we can see that we will have, uh, it will have grown to $140,000 in total. But what if we started doing that and kept doing that for 20 years in total? Well, all of a sudden, it's now around seven hundred thousand dollars just from five hundred dollars a month um, now the time factor is really important because that snowball is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and those returns reinvested are getting bigger again so let's say we did this for 30 years in total so across our working life for example now all of a sudden the really big returns start to happen and that snowball starts to get really big and uh, now we're around three million dollars in total just from saving that five hundred dollars a month and that is the power of compounding and that's the power of this beautiful compounding chart which we're going to create in Excel. Let's get into the sheet. Now there are a few really neat little tricks that we're going to use while we're creating this sheet. But first of course we're just going to just create the, the general background of our sheet and we can speed this up as we go along so that we can get into the real goods in a second. We just want to merge and center these particular cells. This one will give a nice deep blue. We'll just merge and center these particular ones, make them a little bit bigger. And these are our final amounts and total contributed. So we can see how much we've contributed over time. And of course, a thick border around all of these as well. We'll make these ones over to the right and just increase the indent a little bit. And now that's looking really quite nice. This is where we might put our current amount, for example. Our annual return might be eight. 0.8 but we'll turn that into a percentage and there we go that's a little bit better we can give that uh, some decimals if we really want to how many years will we invest it for maybe we'll put any number there now we want to figure out the total amount that we will contribute over time and we can just put that in the center here so to get our total amount contributed we want to say this is going to be equals and it'll be our, all of our deposits multiplied by the amount of years that we're doing it for so 15 years but we also want to add the initial amount at the very beginning. So if we do all of that, then that gives us our total amount contributed. And that's really good. That's a great start. Now let's look at the final amount. But to do that, first we're going to have to create the compounding table. And this is where we're going to be able to get all of our data from. And so this is, uh, this is going to be really important. Just do a few more borders here. And we'll give ourselves a nice normal border in between and increase the indent ever so slightly. Now these are the years that we're going to be investing for, so all the way up uh, and for the rest of these we can just increase uh, and let, let Excel do the work there. It will center those. But for the amount, and this, is, this has to increase over time and use the reinvested returns as well, so it gets a little bit tricky. But what we're wanting to do is have our, have our current amount which is 6,000 currently, multiplied by 1 plus 8%. So 1.08 basically is what we're having. And so that's our first amount. But the second one's going to be a little bit different. And the second one is going to take our previous amount here uh, and add the additional uh, yearly deposit and then multiply that by our 1 plus 8% uh, uh, as well. So 1.08 as well. So once we do that, that gives us our total amount plus the contributed amount. And that's how the snowball starts to begin. If we drag this all the way across, and we'll just reduce the, the decimals ever so slightly. 
Now we've got up to 10 years of our compounding amount based on the information that we've put in here. Now it's really important to put a dollar sign uh, in front of the C for these ones because we don't want that to move when we're dragging that across. So that's really, really important. But now that we've done that, we can just take this and keep dragging this across and hopefully this will keep going. So we've got 11, 12 and all the way. Now it's really starting to increase. We can even keep going up to 30 or 50 years if we really want to. And if we've got our 50 years, we might just uh, select that again and do our borders and make it a little bit nicer. And now we can use this to figure out the final amount based on this little table that we've created for our compounding amounts. So let's see what we've got. For our final amount, we're going to use index and match. And the index function, once we do that, what we're looking for first is the amount row that we've just created. So that nice amount row all the way down there up until however, however long we want that to go for. Um, but then when we get to the row number that we want to index that against, we want that to match how many years invested. So C4, which in this case is gonna be 15 years, but it could be anything. And then we want to match that to look up against the years row that we've got up the top here. So using index and matching that to the years invested and the years, the years row here, if we select enter, now that gives us uh, a final amount and we'll just tidy that up ever so slightly and reduce the decimals there. Now we've got our final amount uh, based on all of the data that we've put in. But we still want to create a chart and make sure that that looks really nice so we can visualize how long it takes us to get to a million dollars if we need to. And to create that chart, we need that to update dynamically. So we're going to create a named range. But to do that, we're also going to use a formula called offset. And so that's going to offset against these numbers on our chart when we need it to. And so for that to update dynamically. So that's the formula there. And as you can see, it just gives us, a, gives us that output currently. But what we really want that to do is that we want that to be used in our named range. So let's create that. We go to formulas and we go to name manager. Now we want a new name and let's say this, uh, it's our compounding range or comp range. You can name this anything you like, of course. And we want this to refer to an actual formula. So we're going to say, we're going to put in that formula that we had before, which is offsetting against uh, the, the numbers. And we'll just click enter there so we can see what it does. We'll close that off. But as you can see, it offsets against the numbers, uh, so the how many years invested, and it does that against our years row, just like we set up for our final amount. Now that we've got our named range of comp range, all we need to do is let's select our amount here. In fact, we can select uh, some anything in this in this particular compounding chart uh, or table here. And if we say insert, and we'll insert a line chart. Now we've got our normal line chart. We can rename this to compounding. And as you can see, it, do, it is already doing a good job of creating a nice compounding chart, but we still want it to update dynamically based on the information that we select over here. So we'll just get rid of the that second series. Now we've got a beautiful line, but what we want to do is right click and select data. And what we're going to do is just edit the series that we're, that we're using for this particular chart. So we'll edit the series and we'll call it uh, amount, we'll call it the amount. And with the amount, we've got our compounding calculator sheet and we just wanna get rid of the reference there. And we want to turn that into the comp range instead. So that's our, the named range that we just created. And let's see if we select enter there and that does seem to work. And so if we click okay, now all of a sudden, this does give us the information that we're looking for, the final amount. As you can see, it's, uh, it's around the same area. If we add data labels, uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, there we go, that's very beautiful. We can format those and we can put them on the top or on the bottom, uh, wherever, you, wherever you prefer. And let's say we wanna add some markers here. If we select our line and we'll just go to marker over here, marker options, we want some, some marker options. Maybe we'll select a nice nice round one there, make it a little bit bigger if we want to. And, uh, and yeah, now we can see, maybe we can change the color here and change the color of our line if we really want to as well. Now we can really see that this chart has updated dynamically for us. And let's try and let's say we, we want to start with $10,000 for example. Okay, now it's, it's updated that as well. Let's say we put $10,000 
in every year. And let's say we, we are managed to get 15% annual return. Oh, the data of course doesn't have any dollar signs. So let's just quickly select all of those and give ourselves some dollar signs. There we go, that's a little bit better. And we'll just make our chart a little bit bigger so that it can fit all of this wonderful information in. And there we go, we can really see that we're growing over time over 15 years down the bottom. And here's our amount. Now, how long is it gonna take us to get to a million dollars if we reinvest our returns? Let's say, well, 15 years, that's not gonna do it. Will it be 20 years? There we go, so that five extra years. In this case, the snowball has started to grow and it's really growing and it's rolling down that hill extra quick uh, and that's, that's what it takes. So we've got our 20 years at 15%, $10,000 invested a year. And you can input any of these in from, uh, this data to suit your circumstances to see how long it would take you to get to a million dollars or to get to $10 million or $100 million if you're extra sharp or if you really wanna go for something solid. And that's how you create a compounding calculator in Excel. Isn't it wonderful? It's such a great tool and it's a really, really great thing. Good practice to check in on this on a regular basis. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you to create this and create this compounding calculator and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.